This is your Sykes Club news with Callum and I bring you news about Scotland rugby team after the Six Nations and how they will be and how they will prepare for the World Cup. Tonight we are going to be talking about the Scotland rugby team after coming fifth place in the recent Six Nations and their chances in the World Cup. Now I will pass you over to the reporters in the field, Sean and Cameron. Um, so, Mr. Campbell, what, how do you think Scotland did in the Six Nations this year? Uh, I thought I thought they they started out quite well. It was looked quite promising from the start, uh, but toward toward later later stages of the tournament, it was it was quite disappointing to watch. Uh, I'm not really sure what they were trying to do a lot of the time in some games, some bad decisions, and I think in the, the teams they picked. And, uh, uh, so I was quite disappointed with that. Um, do you think they could have done a bit better? Uh, absolutely. Yeah, I think it was things like decision making. When they were on the pitch, they could have gone a lot better. And like I said, the, the teams, some of the team selection was a wee bit funny. Dropping their captain Kelly Brown, that was a wee bit of a funny one. Uh, do you think Scott Johnson is the right coach for Scotland? I think he was uh, when he first came. I think he was a very good coach when he first came. He had a good, a good uh, a vision for the for Scotland. But uh, toward the end, I think he, he, he's 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 either given up, sort of caring or not 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 caring, but giving up his um, passion for it maybe. And he's maybe getting a wee bit tired. So. Okay, do you think they've got a chance next year? Next year with a new coach, possibly. Uh, I don't know until this new coach comes in and see what he, what, what he does with Scotland. Uh, but hopefully, fingers crossed, with the World Cup coming up next year, that would be quite handy, wouldn't it? And on Saturday against Wales, do you think the red card shown to Stuart Hall was appropriate or inappropriate? Yeah, yeah, I do. Uh, it was a bit harsh given that he got a yellow card first and then the referee had a wee glance first, but I think it was the right decision. It was a, a cheap shot. Do you think it was the um, right squad, squad for Wales? Yeah, yeah, absolutely, I think so. Uh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um, we're now going to thank you very much. Um, we've now got Miss Dyson, who's also one of our PE thank teachers. So, um, so it's just going to be like the same questions. So, how do you think Scott got in situations? Awful. I think they did absolutely awful. I think they could have done so much better. They had so much promise. Like what Mr. Campbell was saying, they had flashes of brilliance, but then silly mistakes and not controlling their emotions. And just let them down. So, like, do you think that Scott Johnson's also a like coach for Scotland? Yes, I do actually. I think what he's done uh, has been quite good, and he's brought the younger players up through, and you know, changed their method of thinking to actually play into a lot more like Wales, running the ball, not standing still when they receive it. But like what Mr. Campbell was saying, I think he is starting to sort of um, fade away, and he knows he's got this new director of rugby job coming up. So I think he sort of put his coach into one side, and that's not. And do you think they've got a better chance next year than they did this year? Oh, massively so, if they stick to the same kind of gameplay that they've been doing this year. And they let, you know, the younger guys like Dunbar and Seymour and stuff come through and run the ball, rather than doing the silly kicking game that everybody hates. Mm -hmm. um, and obviously, do you think this red card shown to Stuart Hall was good or bad? Completely appropriate. Okay. I'm surprised it wasn't a red straight away. He was lucky that he got given a yellow first and then. Um, do you think this, the squad put out for Wales was okay? Or bad? No, I agree with the squad. I agree with the squad. I'm glad that Kelly had the captaincy back again and that yeah they had, you know, the players like amazing players like Dave Denton and stuff there. I personally think they should play uh Custer instead of Laidlaw. I think Laidlaw's too slow and that he and um, that Chris Custer works works much better with the team that speeds up the game and gives it a much much, much better flow. Thank you. And um, we'll now pass over to Stoon who's actually over in White Craig Rugby Club with um, some more interviews to do. Thank you. Do you think the squad put out to face Wales was a good team? I thought it was a pretty good team. They uh, brought in uh, a couple of new players. Uh, maybe we brought in too many players over the, the Six Nations, but it would have been a much better performance if there had been 15 on the park for the whole game. But unfortunately, we only had 14 on the park for three quarters of the game, so that definitely didn't help. Thank you. Nice talking to you. My pleasure. That's all from me. Back to you in the studio, Callum. Thank you, Stuart. That's all from us. Good night.